Hello everyone and welcome, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert, and uh, thank you for joining us for today's edition of Ace This Recipe. Boy, I'll tell you, we scour the interwebs, we look at search engine things, we try to find out what you're looking for on the web in the world of cooking and what you're interested in learning. And I'm super excited because your search engine and trending results told us it was turkey pot pie that everybody was looking for. So we have got an amazing turkey pot pie recipe for you today. The cool part is we're adding some wood-fired flavor, we're adding some wood-fired fun on the brand new Traeger Ironwood 650. So let's get into this. Let's talk a little bit about ingredients and then we're gonna head over and show you how we start up the Traeger. Then we're gonna get back here and do some cooking and we are going to rock and roll this awesome recipe on today's edition of Ace This Recipe. Right, so here's what we've got for you. We've got some of the ingredients. We're using a light olive oil. We're using some chicken stock. I like chicken stock because it's made from bones and roasted vegetables, a much heartier flavor. A Little bit of butter, some sweet peas, because you can't do a pot pie without sweet peas, right? We've got rub-a-dub, a little bit of our fishy fishy for some herb. We've got mirepoix, mirepoix, that's right. Carrots, celery, and onions, the vegetables that really give this a foundation of flavor in that hearty, robust, rich vegetable flavor. We've got that set for you. Turkey, that's right, yesterday we roasted a turkey. We had some leftovers, so we thought, how can we reuse those turkey leftovers. Well, we hand pulled it last night. I'm a huge fan of cook once, eat twice. So today we are using that turkey for the pot pie. Now, to top it off, here's what we've got today. We've got some pie crust, right? That we're gonna use, found that in the refrigerated section of our grocery store over by the uh, exploding cans of biscuits, right? Then let's say you can't find dough. Maybe they don't have any uh, pie crust or pie dough for you. You could also use some puff pastry as an option. Lots of different options for you today, but we're excited to have you for today's edition of Ace This Recipe. Let's head over now and we're gonna show you how to get that Traeger started. We're gonna be starting off today with our Ace Exclusive Reserve Blend pellets. A little bit of oak, apple, and cherry to give us a ton of flavor. We'll go ahead and get this ironwood all filled up. Look at that, 20 pound pellet hopper, right? How fantastic is that? We've got the pellet hopper all loaded. We are actually going to bake our uh, pot pie off today at 400 degrees. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit the ignite button, get that all set and ready to go. We have our cast iron pan as well. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna load that cast iron pan in there because I want that pan to heat up with the grill. And the nice thing is, is that we'll take our uh, pot pie mixture, we'll go nice and fast into that hot pan, we'll put the topping on it, and we won't have a drop in temperature now or have to wait for that cast iron to heat up. Not too complicated when it comes to prep for this. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut some celery. We need a cup of celery. Now, I left the leaves on here because I am a huge fan of celery leaves. I think they add an, an absolutely fantastic flavor. So we just grab these guys real quick. We'll go through here and cut these. Now, you wanna make sure your carrot, celery, onions are all cut relatively the same size because it will help when it comes time for everything cooking evenly, right? Uh, we've already got our turkey pulled and set and ready to go. Next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and get our onions set. And we're just gonna dice that the same way, nice and small, keeping that all ready to go. Give this guy a little chop here. And we will add a little bit more. Again, we're going for a cup of each, carrots, celery, and onions. All right, so that's all chopped, roughly, right? Now, baby carrots. I went with baby carrots because they're so much easier to use. They're so much more fun. Uh, you get some good random pieces in there, uh, nice little chunks of tender carrot. Uh, make for absolute wonderful uh, flavor in my opinion. So just give these guys a rough chop here and we are set. So there you have it. We've got our carrots, celery, onions, and our turkey. That's pretty much all the prep we need to do. So we have a two-step process today, right? Step number one, we're gonna make the pot pie filling in our cast iron Dutch oven. Step number two, we're gonna transfer it into our uh, cast iron skillet that's preheating. So the nice thing about this is we put a hot filling into a hot cast iron pan, put our pie crust over the top, we get a much faster bake. We're talking probably about 20 or 25 minutes. So let's get started here. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to start, right? Then we're gonna add our celery, carrots, and onions. Get that all set and ready to go. And we're gonna add our peas. What we want out of here is all of this moisture 
to sweat the vegetables. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for this to sweat these guys. Everything becomes nice and soft. We don't want to add any color to it. Just get them nice and soft and everything is ready to go from there. All right, so now that we've sweated the vegetables, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our roux in the pan. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter. We want that butter to melt because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some flour in here and really get things going from that standpoint. We got a little bit of color on our vegetables, which doesn't matter, but in the most part, we are going right along as planned. So get these veggies to the side. We'll go ahead and get that butter cut up and melted. And once that butter melts, it's time to make our roux. I like making the roux in here because this really helps um, keep everything in one pot, right? So we have a one pot meal and that works out pretty solid as well. So what we'll do now is add our flour and we're gonna do about a quarter of a cup of flour at a time. We don't wanna add too much, but we wanna add just enough to get this all set and ready of where it needs to be. And we haven't seasoned this yet. Don't worry about that. We're gonna season this at the end. So now, let's get everything stirred up. Get that roux all set and ready to go. And now, now we're gonna add a little bit more flour. It looks like we need just a little bit more. So we'll add a couple more tablespoons of that. And now, we'll go ahead and, oh yeah, look at that. That is perfect right there. Now, we'll go ahead and add our chicken stock. We're gonna add a cup of chicken stock and a cup of heavy cream. This is gonna help make that beautiful base that's gonna add a lot of that finished flavor to our uh, pot pie as well. So we'll add a little bit of cream next. And I like the heavy cream, it just gives it a much better finish, much better taste, so we'll get that in there as well. Now, what we wanna do is stir this up a little bit just so we can get this all combined. We want that roux to mix in to the juices and the stock and the cream and get that all set and ready. And once that starts to happen, now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and add the turkey to this, right? That's the beautiful part of the turkey pot pie. Then we're gonna add to taste. We wanna add just a little bit to taste of rub-a-dub, right? And I'm probably gonna add about a tablespoon and a half. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of fishy fishy, probably about a teaspoon of that just to give it a nice little herb finish. And if you would notice, we didn't add any garlic in here yet. We didn't add any of that because it was in the rub-a-dub. So I didn't wanna go too crazy on seasoning. And look at that right there. Now, let's say you're looking at this and you think, uh-oh, it may be just a little too thick. What you can do is thin it with a little bit of stock if you need to, but try to add just a little bit of flour at a time to get it where you want it. I like this. I like a hearty, hearty chicken pot pie. Look at that. That is it, fast and easy. Now, we're gonna transfer this into our cast iron pan and put the dough on the top, pie dough on the top, and get set and ready to go. Using a uh, towel or a rag or a hot pad, we uh, pulled this skillet out of the Traeger. And what I like, like I said, I like this to be preheated, so that way I get to put hot food in a hot skillet. What I'm doing is just giving it a nice coating of oil, make sure I get a little bit of extra stick protection in there, right? But now we're transferring everything from this big Dutch oven into the uh, little skillet we have here, which is awesome. You can see that uh, is already starting to bubble away in there, which is awesome. Like I said, the great thing is now we have hot going into hot. We'll put the dough on top and it really shortens our baking time when it comes to the pot pie. And when it comes to pot pie and putting the crust on the top or the dough on the top, I like just a little bit on the top. So that's what I do. If you want, you can blind bake or par bake a little bit of dough for the bottom uh, and put that on there as well. So now what we do, let's carefully unroll our disc of pie, right? It already comes out a little bit perfect. Now what I'll do is I'm actually gonna roll these edges a little bit and tuck them inside because make them a little decorative, right? And we'll get this guy rolled in and kind of pinched. And now I want everything nice and neat, just like it is. Now, we need to cut a couple vent holes in the top here. So I will do one, two, and three. And that's it. Look at that, that's beautiful. 
Okay, Ironwood is hot at 400 degrees. This is gonna go right back into the middle, and now we're gonna leave that. We've got 20 to 25 minutes where that is just gonna bake and do its thing, and we'll see you back here when it's time to add a little bit of that egg wash and get a beautiful shine on our pot pie. Let's give it a look here. Look at that, we're about 10 minutes in. See how that dough is starting to rise a little bit? We're getting a good proof out of there. We're getting a little bubbling around the edges. We're gonna keep this shut and we're gonna let it go about another 10 minutes before it's time to add our egg wash. Okay, it is time. We've got about five, 10 minutes left in the baking process. We're gonna turn the Traeger now up to 425 and then we just mixed a little bit of water and an egg and what we're gonna do is just very carefully go through this guy give it a nice little egg wash basting here. This is gonna give us just beautiful, beautiful golden brown crust. Try to get a little bit around the edges as well. That is it. So now what we'll do is go ahead and slide this shelf back in. We're gonna put that in. We've got about another five to 10 minutes. We're looking for a really nice golden brown crust on the top. That'll tell us it is done. Look at that, that beautiful, amazing brown crust right there. And you start to see we get a little bit of bubbles coming up around the top, a little bit of bubbles coming up around the edge, but we are done. So let's go ahead and get this guy over to our cutting board right here. And now we are gonna cut this guy up and uh, I'm gonna take a little sample this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it for the team. Yeah, turkey pot pie. I'm pretty sure uh, this might be one of the best recipes we've done in a while. So fast and easy, right? Small amount of ingredients, nice and fast from the uh, Dutch oven into the cast iron, into the Traeger for a little bit of wood fired finishing. And this came out fantastic. And where can you grab today's recipes? That's right. Head down below into the comment section, click on the video name that will expand that section. We've got the link to this recipe in there for you as well. And while you're down there, don't forget to uh, click on that subscribe and uh, notification bell and let everybody know subscribe to our channel so they'll know when the next Ace This Recipe is live and ready for them. Every Thursday, we drop a new video and a new recipe on you as well. And while you're down there subscribing and downloading the recipe, leave us your comments and let us know what we can do. How can we be more helpful? What can we teach you that will help make you a legend in the neighborhood cooking circuit? So without further ado, it is time to, uh, oh wait, 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 hold on a second. First thing we do, we cut into this, right? Just like this and we cut a nice little wedge like this. And now it is not totally obvious that we are about to quality control this pot pie. Well, I gotta dig in here just a little bit and try this because it smells way too amazing, right? And, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. That is it, what a wonderful, easy, fantastic recipe. I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grill Expert. Thanks for joining us for today's edition of Ace This Recipe. We'll see you next week where we look forward to cooking with you again.